Yeah, so this match I was trying to get him moving with my, my inside tie. I knew he was going to come to the head. He was going to move his hands the whole time. So if I can slow him down just by getting to that inside tie and moving him with my right hand, I was going to get to my shots. But, I mean, he was doing a good job of thumb blocking and faking off those thumb blocks. So, I mean, I'm just trying to get to my inside tie here and firing off an attack. And I'm getting to that, that dump I get to. He bails out, falls right into a trap arm. And I just go elbow there straight to the trap arm. Running it. Just gutting him up. This is when the match gets going, because he's coming and I'm coming the whole time. And we're going to battle it out for the next five minutes. Do you have a side that you prefer to go to when you have a trap arm? Uh, no, I'm not very stingy with my trap arm. If I catch it, I'm rolling it. And then if they fall off, I'm just going to lock my elbows up and go. Now there's one thing about this match that I hate. It I hate going back and watching this one because I I just I sat so lazy with my collar ties, and that's how he got me moving. When he would come collar tie, come real lazy over the top, and I think I just wasn't ready for these three minute matches. But I think I wrestled well. It is what it is. Just trying to get that out of bounds point head pinch. Got too far off onto the. Hardwood floor. Now, what's going through your mind when you're up this big? Finish him, ice the match. I'm trying to put points on the board, and he's gonna come at me just as hard as I'm gonna come at him. So, just you know, still being patient though, trying to pick off the right attack. He hits a nice elbow drag, gets his gets a take down here. Stands to John bottom, keep my chest flat, not letting him kill her out. Was there anything that surprised you about the way he wrestled, the way he felt? It was nothing I didn't expect. I knew he was going to come at me. He was going to keep a high pace. I was going to keep a high pace. I just don't think I hand fought well enough in the match. I think since then my, my arsenal's definitely doubled. My hand fighting's gotten 100 times better. And this is one of those matches that I want. I've been waiting for. Hey, it's a nice uh, outside knee pound to a high crouch. Being lazy with that overhand tie. That I don't know what I was doing here. Oh, I think it's in the, yeah here. I don't know what my plan was there. It didn't make much sense, but luckily I was out of time. So up 6-4, going into the break. What's uh, what are your coaches telling you in the corner? What's going through your head? No one says on Hawk. I'm, I'm guessing they're telling me that I got to put my foot back on the gas. Because if I don't have my foot on the gas the whole time, I'm going to get scored on. And that's when I'm going to wrestle bad. And that's how a lot of guys are. You don't keep your foot on the gas. You stop wrestling. You're gonna get scored on, and you're not gonna wrestle at your top potential. So they're telling me to go wrestle my own match, and I think that's what I end up doing. He keeps his high pace. I think I'm, I'm letting him get too much to my legs, move me too much with his collar tie. Just letting him settle his hands. I need to get to my ties, which is what I try to do here. Looking back now, I just my foot movement is not what it should have been. Here, I think this is where I throw him. Trying to inside trip from under under hooks is never the move. Now, the confidence to just grab those double overs and go, yeah. where's that come from? Yeah, I don't... I mean, I used to do Greco privates with Andy Trevino. He, uh, he's one of the region coaches. And just having that fearlessness to throw, I mean, 90% of throwing is committing, so just I mean, bringing your hips in and popping and worked out pretty well sometimes I mean, you know picking that perfect moment where he tries to step in that's when I step in the middle that danger zone and pop my hips were you worried about the inside trip at all I wasn't worried about it you couldn't really feel it just out stepping in and waiting for him to step in one more time and that's when I really popped 
bob my hips. See, I leave my, I take my foot off the gas towards this end period. It really brings his offense. Just one of my biggest regrets in this match, and why I think this match would go differently. Staying stingy here. So your biggest takeaway from this match is just the importance of keeping your foot on the gas pedal. Yeah, that and there was a lot of a lot of technical things that I messed up on that I think I worked on a lot of, especially in my hand fighting and my shot defense. I think that's where he exploded me. But I uh, I went back and worked on it, and I think I'm a whole new wrestler, and I think there's. A lot to expect. Yeah, this is one of those one of, one of those matches you hate to go back and watch, but you have to to learn from it. And I mean, looking back on it, I wish I would have moved my feet more. I kind of sat in my ties too much. Was kind of lazy with my collar ties. You know, not even back sprawling back my legs and trying to just go at the end. Getting to the leg here and you know trying to get something in the end. I was trying to come to like an Iranian peak out, but he came on the inside of my crotch and hopped. So I mean, it's unfortunate. He's a hell of a wrestler. He scrapped, and I always, I always appreciate a match like that. But that's one of those matches that I want back.